In this video, I'll show you how to update the BIOS on your Gigabyte motherboard using QFlash step-by-step. -step. So I've got this Gigabyte Z690M Aorus Elite AXDDR4 motherboard, but the BIOS is out of date and doesn't support 13th gen Intel CPUs. I don't have a 12th gen CPU, so I'll need to use QFlash. Apart from the motherboard, all you need to use Gigabyte's QFlash is a power supply and USB 2 drive, preferably 32 gigabytes or less for best compatibility. All right, on another computer, type in the model name of your motherboard and the correct revision number. Click support and scroll down to BIOS. In most cases, you'll want the latest BIOS. Download it. Next, plug the USB flash drive into the PC and take note of the drive letter. We're going to start by formatting it to avoid any issues with QFlash. Make sure you format the right drive so you don't lose data. Also, make sure to back up any data from the USB drive you want before formatting it as everything on it will be erased. Right click the drive and choose format. Make sure FAT32 is selected and then click start. And as Windows warns you, everything on it will be erased. All right, now the drive is formatted. Go to your downloaded BIOS and extract the zip file. Right click, extract all. We only need the BIOS file, which is the large one with the release number on it. In my case, it's F27. For QFlash, we need to rename this file. Click once on the file, then click a second time to start renaming it. Select all of the text and type gigabyte.bin. Now copy the file to your USB drive. Congrats, the USB drive is complete. Now let's set up the motherboard. Plug the USB drive into the USB port labeled BIOS. And now I'll just screw the motherboard onto my test bench. But you can do this on a non-conductive surface, like a wooden desk or on cardboard. Next, plug in the 24 pin power from your power supply and then the CPU power. While my board has an 8 pin and 4 pin CPU power, the 8 pin is enough. Finally, plug in the power cord into the power supply and switch the 0 to 1 position. Then, just press the Q flash button. The LED light will start flashing for a while if it's working. If it only lights up for a few seconds, something's wrong. Check you have the right BIOS file for your board, that it's renamed correctly and on the root of the USB drive and that nothing else is connected to the board apart from the power supply and USB. Eventually the light will stop and the QFlash process is complete. Mine took 6 minutes and 14 seconds and it's done. Now to check it's working, I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'll install the 13th gen CPU, a stick of RAM, and the CPU cooler. This CPU is the 13700K, not the KF, so it has integrated graphics. If you have a F CPU, you'll have no integrated graphics and need to also add the graphics card. And if you don't have a power switch handy from your case, you can use a screwdriver to short the power pins and power it on. Success! We have the BIOS screen, and as you can see, the board has the i7-13700K running on the latest F27 BIOS version, and everything is all good. We can now turn off the power supply and install this board into a case, and it'll boot just fine. So, I hope you've managed to QFlash your board successfully. If you're sure everything is being done correctly, but it's still failing, try another USB drive or an older BIOS file. That's all for this one. I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if it helped you and you can support me by using one of the shopping links in the video description if you're buying something from there. Thanks for watching, see you later. Cheers!